What is good everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We're talking about apartment hacks, different things you can do around your apartment to just kind of spice it up. This is a different type of video for me because typically I'll do fashion, streetwear, sneakers kind of videos. Sometimes you guys say I don't because I'll do mystery boxes and wish app stuff, I understand. But I do still do videos based around fashion and streetwear and I think that a lot of people are interested in apartments and different things you can do around your apartment that kind of crosses over and can be a kind of a part of the same thing. So I think a lot of you guys are into this. You've seen, if you haven't, my last apartment videos. I have my dream apartment tour, my dream apartment tour V2. I had an Ikea sneaker and clothing set up for $250, a bunch of videos like that, and they were received very well. So I'm here back with something new because I want to switch things up. Now, if you're new here and you don't subscribe to the channel, go ahead and subscribe if you don't already and turn on notifications if you want to be notified as soon as I post. And I have to shamelessly plug my Instagram because I do take the title as the most fire Instagram stories on Instagram. If you guys haven't seen yet, a little bit up on the screen. You can check that out if you want to follow me down below. I'm almost at 70,000 followers, which is actually insane to me because that's a number I didn't think I'd reach. So thank you guys so much for that. But without further ado, let's go ahead and show you guys some of the stuff that we got for you. We're going to show you some cool cinematic shots. You guys can check out what we got going on and some of these hacks you can get for some good prices, which I'll be linked down below. So let's go ahead and jump into it. thing up is going to be with the couch slash TV entertainment area. Now you don't have to have a really fancy TV. I don't really watch too much TV. I don't even have cable. I watch just YouTube and Netflix on this TV right here. Or if I buy a movie on iTunes or something, I'll go ahead and put my computer up to that, but I don't even have cable. One of the things that I really like that has a very minimalist look is when you mount your TV. Now, this one right here costs about $300 to mount, so it was a little bit more expensive. But I do think having that look of having the cables tucked behind the wall just gives it like that whole minimalist look where it's just floating. I really, really like that look. Now you can get a couple things to cover the cables if you're not allowed to drill into the walls, but it was about $300 to go ahead and get that mount. And I know you can do it yourself. This TV is very heavy, so if it was smaller, I would attempt to do it myself because I'm pretty handy when it comes to that stuff. But for this, I just want to hit and let somebody else do it. Kind of didn't want to worry about the liability. Another thing I like to add to kind of the living quarter area is just white furniture in general. I'm a big fan of the very neutral colors in your living space and workspace. So for my living area, I have a couch that's gray. The TV stand is all white. It is from Ikea and it took me forever to put it together. I did not want to buy anything else from Ikea for a while with furniture to put it together, but this was the best looking one and it was very good price. Like the other ones that I saw were, were like a thousand, two thousand dollars for some very like contemporary look and this was like 200 so I went with that. But white furniture I think is huge and the reason why I love white furniture the most is because if you add any little color pop to it, it just makes it look amazing. One of the biggest hacks I would have would be this plant right here. This is from Ikea. Now you can get so many different ones from Target, wherever. I have an Ikea that's about 10 minutes away from me and this right here was like $5. And you can get it with a black metal case. I have it over on my desk, which I'll show you guys. This is like five bucks and this little green, now it's fake, but it just has that look. It's just something about it. That on top of the white TV unit, on top of the counter, on top of your desk, this is just that little pop. It doesn't take up too much room. And just with all the neutral colors and the monochrome look, that little green just, I'm telling you, it'll transform your desk. I'm serious. Along with that, I'm a big fan of kind of image magazines. And basically, there's a couple magazines that you can get. This one right here I have is Hypebeast. And I've shown this before. This is a Goyard edition. I have a bunch of different editions. The latest was a concrete edition. It was $220 not getting that. But this magazine was $15. It's sort of at one of my local streetwear stores. And it's basically just got a bunch of different looks and has LeBron James. It has a bunch of looks from different clothing companies. Just a really awesome magazine and something cool for people to look at when they come to your place. And this one came with actually three colors and they're all the same magazine, but it was three different for the Go Yard edition. I thought this will look so amazing. Very minimal, it has a nice color pop. And I thought this was a perfect addition. One of the big things you might notice are the lights that are like right there. Some are right around above my TV. And those are the Philips Hue lights. Now I wanna show you guys two different options. You have that option right there. It's very expensive. Also there's an Amazon version that is a lot longer and costs a lot less. So I wanna show you and compare those two because that is another hack 
that I think completely transformed my apartment. It is like the number one thing I've recommended to so many people that you can just add a light to literally anything. So let me show you. Also something I like to showcase on this kind of living room setup is this popcorn maker. This was like 70, 60 bucks from Target. Hasn't got full use yet because I'm still kind of learning. I just kind of like to dabble in a few different things, but this is one that I think is cool. Nice red color pop matches all the Supreme stuff throughout the apartment. This is kind of the hype stuff I like to have as well. Little Supreme accessories to just kind of throw in there. I'm a big fan of some of the accessories that Supreme comes out with. I haven't been buying many clothes lately, but Supreme has some cool random accessories that make no sense, but look cool around the house. So that kind of matches that whole aesthetic as well as you can make some popcorn with it, which will be cool. When I do it, I'll update you guys on my Instagram. You can see two examples of it right here. There's one on the TV and one with the light bulbs right here. So Philips Hue makes a bunch of different light bulbs and light strips and different things that are all hooked up to your phone. And I've showed this before and it's one of my favorite things that I had throughout the apartment because there's so many different features. Each light is individually categorized. You can put them into like the same type of control. So they're all controlled under one light. You can go on the phone and just change the colors to whatever you want. So I've got all of them grouped together now and you can just change it. This is really cool because depending on the mood you're in, you can change it for your whole entire place. Now I'm gonna show you guys an overlay clip of how it works in like real time, because right now it's not gonna be the best situation. But basically I have about eight different light bulbs total now there's three above my counter one behind the tv one behind the tv in my room and then there's also one i used to have behind my desk i don't have it anymore and then there's philips hue go right here now this one you can kind of take on the go it's dead right now but you can have it as like different colors and move it wherever you want this brings back some nostalgia because this was the first philips hue thing that i bought and it was the first thing that i opened up in my last apartment which was my dream apartment and i just remember the first time i was there i had no bed i had nothing and all i had was my color changing lights and it was just very surreal because I had dreamed so long to get there. So it's kind of sad thinking back on it. I'm not gonna lie. But then as you can see right here, it's a pretty similar color. And that is a light strip from Amazon, which is about $15. It comes with a power cord. It comes with a remote and you control it that way. And I'm gonna show you an overlay clip of that as well and how that works. This one is a little bit harder because you have to angle the remote to wherever the receiver is and that receiver can get interfered. And that's the hard thing about it. Whereas the Philips Hue, you can just control it on your phone but it's a completely different price point. The strip from Amazon costs $15 and 15 feet long. The strip from Philips Hue is $80 and six feet long. So it's all about if you wanna be able to control everything on your phone and which I really like because you can set it to turn off when you leave, turn on when you come home, have different scenes. Very awesome and you can have them dim with the night. Like it's amazing. So many different features, but it comes with the price. Now we're back over in my desk area and you guys have asked a bunch of questions about my desk. The desk itself is from Ikea. It is actually a dining room table. It's huge. You guys don't realize this thing is so long. It goes all the way back. I think it's 35 inches deep and 72 inches wide or 75 inches wide. Very, very big desk, but I have a lot of stuff. I've got studio monitors. I've got this 34 inch ultra wide monitor, which is great for editing. And I've got my desk pad and everything like that. Most of the stuff on my desk is from Myonix, the keypad, the keyboard, everything like that. This mouse pad is just ginormous and I love it. When I'm gaming, I'll use their gaming mouse or when I'm doing some editing, I'll use this mouse too. It is the Logitech MX Master. But with this setup, it's relatively expensive and that's because YouTube is my job. So editing is my job. And I just wanna have, you know, the best of the best when it comes to my workflow. If I was going to be working a job, I'm gonna be sitting down for absolutely 24 hours a day. I'd make sure I have the most comfortable chair possible. And so that's what I kind of do in this situation. I want to set myself up, have the best possible results for editing. For most of this, it's neutral colors, but then you have the desk pad has a little bit of color touch. I like the color changing keyboard as well. I've shown you guys that a million times. But here again is the IKEA desk plan. I've got so many of them. It doesn't even look that fake. And that's why I really like it. And this one sits on my desk. Look at the color pop, just like all black and white neutral colors. And then bam, that green. I think it looks awesome. This shot the lighting is gonna be a little bit different because of the way that the light comes into my room but as you can see the next topic right here is the paintings now for the longest time i was searching for artwork and i just wanted some like minimalist contemporary modern art that's what i wanted but if i wanted something that i truly liked that was like an actually hand painted piece it was going to cost me like five ten fifteen thousand dollars i even asked around for a local artist at the art school here some friends of friends of mine if they would paint me some pieces and it never went through so i was like you know what I'm not spending $10,000 on some art because I'm just gonna have it sit on my wall. I'm gonna go ahead, make my own. And so I bought this canvas right here from Michaels and I got like, you can get 40% off anytime you go in there, just Google it. And it was like 30 bucks or something, or it was Hobby Lobby, one of those. It was like 30, 40 bucks. I bought my own paint. 
And this is the third painting I ever created, and I just basically went free with it. I just, I, I've painted on smaller canvases before. I just bought this huge one. I was like, you know what, I'm going for it. And I just kind of let loose. And I had this painting that I kind of saw and wanted to kind of emulate, and that's what I went for. Basically, it's just black, white, tan, and it just has a little bit of blue, and then that big orange pop in the middle. Just, I really like it. And to me, with art, it's all about your eye. If I would have walked into an art gallery and saw that and not known who painted it, I would have been like, that's dope. I'll buy it if it's a reasonable price. But if I look at it from the perspective of I'm not a great painter and it's just a mediocre painting, then I'm not gonna really love it as much as I would if I bought it. To me, once I realized that I just really liked the piece and the way it came out, I owned it and so many people ask me questions about it and think it's like a professional painting and it's just my third canvas painting ever. And some of you guys think it might suck. There's some fundamentals that I need to get down, but I really don't have any history of taking any painting classes. I literally bought acrylic paint. It was like some of the cheapest paint and just went out. Now my roommate did the exact same thing and you guys can see in some of the clips, he has a picture as well. He emulated a very hard painting and he went ahead and did it. And I think it came out good in the grand scheme of things. There's some things that he could fix and some things that I could fix here and there, but it's art and you can have fun with it. It's all based off of your eye. Next thing up is going to be a sneaker shelf. There's a few different ways you can do this. Now this one is from Ikea right here and basically it's metal and it has glass on it. Very simple to put together and it's a way to showcase shoes. I just found it there. I don't think I saw anybody else have it. I found it there when I was doing that Ikea video and I thought this would be really cool to put two, two, two shoes or just kind of do it how I have it now. This is a cool way to showcase your shoes if you've got some shoes that you like to kind of show off. Now, of course you're showing off in your house or whatever, but they're just shoes you want to showcase that you're proud of. I like to have something like this for the background of my videos to kind of showcase them. As well as since I have so many shoes, it's easier to go and pick off and see what I have if I have it more open. And since I really like a lot of these shoes, I think it's cool as a display piece because my friends would come over into sneakers and they can see what kind of shoes I'm rocking right now. This one, you can hold 10 shoes total, which is kind of cool, or you can kind of mix and match. Now, another thing that I have on top is a Supreme ball. And this is a ball you can get, I think for like 20 bucks. It's a beach ball. And I just, again, the color pop, red, white. It's just cool color pop. Supreme is a hype thing. A lot of people who know Supreme will come over and be like, whoa, how much was that? Is it like $1,000? And I'll be like, no, you can get it for like 20 bucks on eBay. I don't know if it's real, but you can get it for like 20 bucks on eBay. This is like one of the very simple Supreme pieces. Next, and I think last hack up is going to be a bar cart. Now, this one right here is from Target, and I have to give a huge shout out to my girlfriend, Sophie. She did get this for me for Christmas. It's my favorite bar cart that I've seen. Perfect colors and everything for my apartment. It's got the glass, got the silver, and it was $110, which is a little bit pricier, but bar carts are very up there in price. I am 21 years old, so I am allowed to drink alcohol. I don't drink it often, but I have some like nice things that my dad will get me. I just like having cooler drinks. Like As you can see, I've had this for probably a year and a half now, and this is how much I've been drinking. I never drink it. This is like super intense. I don't even think it's allowed in the United States, but you're allowed to get it somehow here. Basically, a bar cart is a place to showcase some of your drinks and some things that you can roll around. And this can be used for many different scenarios. If you like coffee, like me, you could put coffee stuff on there. I also have another coffee bar that's over there that I have the lights over. You can take all those different things from the coffee bar and put them here. If you have a coffee machine, throw it on here. Below, put your filters, your beans, your grounds, whatever you want. And it's just kind of a cool thing you can roll around. It's not really in the way. For me, it's sitting in this corner. Whenever I want to entertain, I can pull it out. It rolls and it was really nice for that. So this is $110. Very thankful to have that and very thankful for Sophie for getting that for me. And this has a little bit of hype on it as well. I've got the Supreme Saki set. I, I'm a hype beast, I guess. I, I'm not in denial, but I just, don't think I'm like too big of a hype beast, but that's a bar car can literally be used for anything. If you've got camera equipment, put it there, put them there, roll them around. It's just a cool little thing. You literally could do whatever you want with it. It's a bar cart and you can use it for anything, but a bar, like whatever you want. But I have it as a bar because I'm old enough to drink. I've got a lot of different kind of unique alcohol that I like to just showcase that I don't really drink. And then I have coffee stuff on the other side. So I think that's going to be it for this different hacks for the apartment. If you guys like this style of video, let me know in the comments down below, because I will do more. I want to introduce 
introduce more stuff with apartments, with technology, different stuff like that to kind of branch out, not just do the clothing and show you guys a little bit of both. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know in the comments down below as well. Subscribe if you're new. Thank you guys so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram down below if you want to see some fire pictures and Instagram stories. I'll see you guys next time. This is Harrison signing out.